We found a hot new trend, laser engraved glass Christmas ornaments, and you could personalize them right at your booth. We've done all the testing so that you don't have to, and we'll show you what we learned right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. One of our patrons posted these really cool personalized laser engraved glass Christmas ornaments. And then once he posted them, we couldn't stop seeing them. They were everywhere. So we thought we would do this week's video on how to do and make these personalized ornaments. So you see lots of different ornaments at a craft show and a lot of them are occupational type ornaments. Nurses, law enforcement, firefighters, whatever the case may be. There's tons of them out there. But how do you make your ornaments stand out? Personalized ornaments are a great way to make your ornaments stand out. When you're at a craft show, you're looking for unique and personalized gifts to give folks that mean something to them. If you could find a nurse ornament that can, you can actually add your nurse's name to or a law enforcement ornament where you can actually add your law enforcement officer's name to it. This is a great way to make your ornament stand out and make your booth unique at a craft show. Or if you're selling online for your online sales, being able to personalize ornaments really adds that personal touch and folks are looking for those kinds of items. So we've got a great way to show you how to personalize these ornaments. We try different brands, different colors, different laser types. We've got all the settings that we're gonna share with you today. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some glass ornaments because that's what we're making. So we tried different brands. We found them at different locations. We actually were all over town. So we checked lots of different stores. I started with Hobby Lobby, but I couldn't find a set of just plain glass ornaments that we could engrave on. So I got this because that's where I was and I, but they have glitter and things, so that wasn't great. But I did find a large selection, many different colors and at home. So at, at home. At, at home. <laughs> it's called at home. And there are nine ornaments for $5 and they came in every color, just, just pretty much every color. So many of them to choose from. They were great. Then we happened to be at Walmart looking for something else. And I said, well, let me just see what Walmart has. And they had a whole selection as well. They had this one, which was a variety set of multiple colors, which was great for the project that we're doing because we got to test multiple colors. And then they had this set here, I think they may have had this one in multiple colors as well. So this one was 10 ornaments for $4 and this one is eight ornaments for $6. Now I will say these, as we tested them, they're a little bit different. They, they're a little, a little more bit, substantial. Yeah, a little bit weird too. <laughs> well, they were a little thicker. I think I feel like the paint's a little thicker on these. We had to tap on them several times just to make sure it was yeah, glass. Listen, they don't even sound like glass. So, But we did engrave them and we got some lessons learned to share with you on that set. We're also gonna use our Foxy Hughes paints because once you engrave these, you it is pretty cool to see through, but it's a little distracting. So and adding that really color- You can't anything if you put words on it. Yeah, so adding the color on the inside really makes it stand out. So we've done a couple of different colors Colors here. We use navy blue, white, black. I'm not sure we actually ended up finishing one with the green. green. Nope. But you can add any of the paint colors in there, give it that extra pop and make the engrave stand out. Then we used our X-Tool F1 to do all of the engraving work. And we're choosing to use the X-Tool F1 because this is what we were sharing because you'll be able to take this with you to the craft show and do some of that personalization right at the craft show. However, you can do this technique with pretty much any laser. You can use your P2, you can use your Eon, your CO2, your diode, your IR, any of them will engrave these ornaments. Step two, time for some test engraves. We have lots of different ornaments for different manufacturers, different brands, different finishes. Some are dull, some are shiny, and we thought we would test them all. Different colors, I think, are gonna react differently. And like I said, these feel a little different, so I'm curious to see how these are gonna engrave. I'm gonna try all of them and share with you the best settings that work for each color, each brand, so that you don't have to go through that testing. We grabbed some images off of Canva and we created a little jig. It's just a four inch square with a one and a half inch circle out of the middle that totally holds the ball 
and we shouldn't have any problem. So with the images, he's right, we just grabbed them from Canva. There are lots of different designs out there. You can find the different occupational designs, baby's first Christmas, first year in your new home so that you could put a zip code on there. Lots of different things for personalization. And I grabbed those. I didn't have to make any of them this time. I just grabbed them and downloaded them right into Creative Space. So with a two and a half inch ornament, the best image size is about one and a half inch circle. If it starts to get too far past that one and a half inches, curve gets to be too great and it won't fully engrave. We found that for the Walmart green and red ornaments, that the blue light laser worked the best. Power at 70%, speed 3000, and lines per centimeter at 200. For the red at home and blue at home and pink at home ornaments, as well as the Walmart gold ornament and the silver Walmart ornament, the IR laser worked the best. And we used power at 100%, speed at 1000, and lines per centimeter, 300. We found it easiest to line up the image that's being framed with the hole in the jig. And we did this by hand. We would also double check our framing over some of the shiny balls that we couldn't see the frame on using a piece of tissue paper. This would lay the flattest against the ball and allow us to see where it was gonna hit on the ornament. We found that the blue light laser settings were a little bit faster than the IR settings, probably because the speed is at 3000 versus 1000, but those engraved in about 15 seconds where the IR engravings were up to 30 seconds. Both still super fast, but one was a little faster than the other. Because these ornaments have such a curved surface, some of the engravings on the outer edges didn't come off completely. So we thought at first that maybe the engraving wasn't reaching the edges with an inch and a half design. But what we found is that we, when we scrub them and wash them a little bit with a little bit of alcohol or with our magic eraser, and honestly what worked the best was our nail, just kind of chipping at it with our fingernail, we were able to get those outer edges to come off uh, because it did actually engrave them. It just didn't take the paint off with that engrave, but it was easy to get the edges off. So if you see that during your engrave, just give it a little wipe or a little scratch with your nail and those outer edges will come right off. Step three. Woo, <laughs> now we paint. We're not gonna use a brush. We're just gonna take the tops off and pour a little bit of paint in there and then swoosh it around until it covers up the engraved design. Super easy. Paint me, Kim. Hold on, let me shake it. Profit. So three, profit. So we know we're all in for 10 balls for four bucks. And I think we could probably sell these personalized for like $12. Yep, that's what I was thinking too. We would sell these for $12. You can get your family name, your zip code, your baby's name, your friend's name. There's just so many different possibilities. Your pet's for name. These. Oh yeah, your pet's name, that's another good your one. street name, <laughs> your latitude, longitude. Well, like I said, your favorite nurse, law enforcement officer, firefighter, there's just so many different things. And really adding a touch of personalization is a great way to give a gift that really means something to someone. They'll know that you've been thinking about them because you've added their name, location, whatever it might be. Something that makes it personal to them. Yeah. Well, we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. A big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that is the best way to support this channel. Join us over on Patreon where we have the best community in town. <laughs> and I don't really have, I could bounce a box of ornaments, but I can't actually like bounce. Yeah. And ornament. You know, he's always looking for something to break there at the end. <laughs> this is a great way to make them stand out because folks are, mm -mm. personalized ornaments are a great, personalized ornaments are a great way to make your ornaments stand out. When you're going at a, when you, 
Another thing, you're always... Okay. Okay, that was dumb. I hated how I did my part. Close, but not, no dice. Right. We needed some glass Christmas ornament balls. <laughs> Skip some words in there. We ran them all together. We needed some glass Christmas ornaments, the balls. Nope. Yeah. Uh, these are nine for five dollars. Uh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Step three. Now we paint. Hold on. I'm gonna do it with all the glass around. Oh right. God. Ready? Uh huh. 